Hi there! It's another video from Rowan Digia Samos, creator of Cultura Cards and Psychotherapist. Here's another way to use your Cultura Cards. Um, you can use this uh, in groups with couples and especially if you're a therapist or a coach. So what you would do is you would just set a few images, a few of your cards face up. Now, the beautiful thing about images, this is I, what I, one of the reasons why I created these Cultura cards, is that if we just rely on language, talk therapy, it, it sometimes would take years before you get to the bottom of the issue, the trauma. Because just like having a flashlight, if the beam can only reach as far, that's only as far as the story can reach, can access. So you often may hear people go over their story over and over again. It's difficult to access the story beyond the story, but that's what images do. And, and, and they're nurturing, they allow the person to save face because it's as if they're talking about a third person so that's that's the secret so you can begin whether you're talking to just a friend you know or you're talking to a client you could just simply ask your client which picture here do you like the best or uh, you feel that you have which picture here do you like the best that resonates with you and then they'll take a look at it and you can begin actually before they even choose to say that this is just a quick process um, now one of the things about when you say don't overthink is that people start overthinking so you simply just say you know there's a part of you that might want to overthink let it overthink but the part of you that wants to just quickly choose an image let that part speak now so which image did that part of you choose? So you could begin using the power of language. So let's say your client chose this, okay, this image. So put everything away. Now, many of us do our session online. This is so doable with these cards because for me, I have two cameras, the one I'm using now, an overhead um, camera, but you can simply take a photo of these cards and put it like um, on a PowerPoint and then you screen share and it's the same thing. So now if your client chose this card, you will tell, ask your client to just notice the image. And you want to help your client expand their imagination by using the words step into the picture you'll want to inquire what is the person feeling what does she want what is blocking her way one consideration when you're using these cards for you it might appear like this person is a girl but it might not be something so obvious to you might not be the same for your client so one ethical consideration is to wait for them to describe the image so that you can use their language not yours and so just by asking those basic questions you can get a lot with your work with your client and they could get a lot just hearing them respond to their quest to those questions. So later on, you can ask, who is this person, if that's appropriate. I wouldn't ask that as the first question. I would simply ask, how is this person feeling? What happened before? If you step into the picture, what else are you seeing? Now, you'll do this very slow. It's not about throwing so many questions or tools intuition is honed 
with even a slowness in pace. So you can begin there. And again, check the links for future trainings if you are a facilitator and educator, coach or therapist. I hope that's been helpful. And remember, the answer already lies within you. Until then, salamat!